Okay, Parkers, just to give you an update on where things are at, they've got this prep. They're waiting for some for some uh, aggregate to come in for compaction, and they'll be pouring the concrete. I'll let you have that conversation with these guys in just a minute. You can see the wainscot below the siding, which will be happening shortly. Obviously, front steps and porch. The wrap porch hasn't been done. They've got everything basically uh, prepped for sheetrock or, or ready for sheetrock. Sorry about the green room there. Just trying to get an angle here so you can see the house better. Uh, wire's been pulled. And plumbing is basically roughed in. Sounds like they got a little more plumbing to do. They're just finishing up the soffit and fascia and wrapping all the beams. What I was told on the beam, what they decided to do is they're going to actually uh, sand those beams down to finish and stain those end beams. This one and the one in the front and then the one inside the home as well. So um, where there was damage on the framing when they set the home that would, you know, we obviously witnessed, I was just told that they've pulled all of that framing out and reframed it complete. Is that correct? Yes. Yep. All of this was taken out and it's all been reframed. So anywhere that there was damage when they set this home from the, the pre-construction, they've repaired. Um, there's going to be rain gutters along these eaves, which will give it a nice crisp line. And of course, that's the door coming into the garage, which is yet to be seen it's just so frustrating this marker right now is really frustrating so they're almost done they'll wrap that LVL up there but the glue lamb will be exposed and stained which is cool again front steps and porch are all MIA but all the electrical is ran you can see the backers there for sheet rocks for hanging sheetrock. Again, insulation is complete, so that's not an issue. All the windows are in place. Feels pretty good in here. So again, that, that portion of glue lamb will be exposed and stained, which I think will be nice. Sliders in. They've got one room and a little bit in here sheetrocked. Oh, and by the way, they ended up doing a little access up there, which I think is Great idea, that's a high ceiling regardless. And they're gonna have a custom door on that that will match the beam, is what I was told. Again, the mud room here, leading out to the garage, panels in. They don't have the home runs pulled, but the panels in, sheetrocks. Staged this room, back here, the master is sheetrocked. So they've got one room hung. They're supposed to be hanging the balance of this home, they said, in the next couple of days. And they're waiting on concrete for the, for the garage. Man, it's, again, taking a long time. Obviously, this room is chock full of their goodies. but So sheetrock is the next big issue here. And then on to the next thing. But they got people here every day. But this, here's the status. Let's see, and we were concerned about some of the floors. I can't remember. I don't see. Just try to take a look here, just so we can kind of get a feel. Just slowly pan through this, so if there's anything I'm not seeing, because I'm watching my phone, not the... They still have some rough end plumbing to do. Uh, they told me plumbers are supposed to be here tomorrow to whip this, knock this out, whip this into shape. So all that's backing to hang sheetrock on. All that two by four, one by four, it's all backing. So your sheet sheetrock will hang from that. Let's just have a look at the window installation. So 
So Tyvek is wrapped in. That's all good. Apply gem windows. That's great. All the seams are 3M weather taped. Okay, it is coming together. They're still not as far along as I would like them to be, but I don't know what to do about that. Okay, hope this is helpful. Thanks, guys.